Okay, so let's go Woman's World 830 2021, your organized home. You're going to see me try to go really quick because with three books, not much time, we got to move it, move it like no tomorrow. Okay, uh, deep clean in half the time, we tap top Airbnb host for their easiest speed cleaning tips to get your space sparkling in no time. To send dirt packing with a club soda splash. With guests constantly on the go at the Airbnb rentals, dirt, mud, and sand get tracked into the entryway doormats and even do indoor carpets. Thankfully, Jeff Pierce at the Airbnb Super Host and the author of Master of Vocation Rentals says it's easy to lift even stubborn stains fast. No steam cleaner required. Just sprinkle baking soda on the salt or salt on spots. Then hop with a little club soda. Let it sit for a few minutes before wiping with a damp sponge. The soda's carbon dioxide will break down the dirt molecules without harming fabric, while the baking soda or salt absorbs grime and orders. Revive faucets with toothpaste. Now listen to this. When hard water leaves a pesky film on faucets, just reach for a tube of toothpaste, says Andrea Clarkson, Airbnb ambassador, super host, and founder of MamaMo.com. Simply spread the non-gel toothpaste on the surface and let it sit for 10 minutes. Then buff with a soft cloth, detergents, and a paste whisk away scum and hard water mark while preventing new marks from the clinging to the metal. The NYX the Stove Top Grime. Now with baking soda. It says Clarkson lifts even baked in stains a mix of equal parts peroxide baking soda spread onto the surface let it sit for five minutes then wipe with a damp sponge peroxide releases oxygen to break down stains while the abrasive baking soda cuts through the grime uh, get the, the tile gleaming with a white vinegar solution pierce relies on a tried and true white vinegar in all his rentals to get the tile sparkling in a flash for floors mix one half cup white vinegar with one gallon warm water in a bucket Mop and allow the floors to air dry. The vinegar's acetic acid cuts through the dirt and residue fast and dissolves in for a clean finish. Plus, pouring the vinaigrette water down the toilet toward the it helps break up the rings. And lift sneaky debris with a lint roller. Now, lint rollers are an absolute necessity in the rental cleaning process, says Pierce. We use them so quickly, pick them up, and they take the stray hairs away from the guests and pests, throw their pillows, furniture, and bedding. Simply run a sticky lint roller over the fabric. The floor cracks and tile seems to lift the stray hairs and debris. Okay, they had a cute cartoon where the chicken is getting uh, talking to a doctor and it says you may need more exercise may i recommend that you cross the road more often isn't that cute um let's see here the instant awe take a moment to leave your worries behind and lose yourself in the loveliness of this wonderful uh saying here tears of joy are like the summer raindrops pierced by the sunbeam by hosea Bellu. okay here is a moment for you you shine anytime. True beauty isn't a special occasion thing or anything that depends on bling. It's an everyday thing because it's a part of you, which means that even on your most ordinary day, you're lit from within, a one-of-a-kind, never-seen-before masterpiece with beautiful colors that always show. It's true, and that's you. A five-minute romance, and we all know that's exactly how long it takes to fall into love. Five minutes. Here's a hand-painted romance. As recent widow, Desi finds her only solace painting pottery for her store until handsome Sam arrives to fill her world full of color. From the office door, Desi looked out across the silent store Friday afternoon at not one customer out and outside the sun dipped behind the pine uh, created mountains. Summer was fading fast along with the tourist season. Back to school soon, Zeke. Zeke the collie sat behind the desk, acknowledging Desi with a yawn. Fortunately, Desi didn't depend on the store's summer profits to pay the bills. After all, her job teaching at Valley Elementary, it was just that five-year-old shop had special meaning as a 10th anniversary gift from her husband so she could display the pottery she had hand-painted herself in the studio out back. But these past two summers without Paul, Desi's shop had become means of a wet 
weeding out the loneliness of summer vacation. She loved meeting the travelers who came through. Each had a story to tell, and Desi was happy to listen. The bell above the door softly jingled, and Desi peeked out to see a handsome, muscularly proportioned man studying a collection of scalloped edge plates that she painted in the spring, each one portraying a famous couple in history. "'What do you think, Zeke, buyer or looker?' Desi whispered to the indifferent collie. She giggled, startling herself. "'Definitely a looker.' The man she was ruggedly handsome in a gray chambray shirt tucked loosely into faded blue jeans. His tan cowboy boots jacked him up well over six feet. Just look at that beautiful dark blonde mane. Zeke's wagging tail slapped the rug and a metronome keeping time to flutters beating against Desi's heart. With a deep breath, Desi breezed through the shop. Welcome, she said, fighting the catch in her throat. Come on, Desi, stay steady. These feelings were new to her since Paul died and since she felt guilty. I heard you do beautiful work, the man said, examining a plate. You painted those? Nodding humbly, Desi blushed. Everything's hand-painted and was painted by these hands. He looked closely at the paint, nodding when he spotted her supple signature. Desi, that's you? Short for Desiree, she confirmed. Ah, he murmured. Hence the depiction of Napoleon and Desiree. Desi quickly explained she was his first love and I was named after her. I see the resemblance. She's lovely. The glance he shot her was nuclear charged and Desi trembled. You have goosebumps. The AC's been running overtime, she said with a shiver. I think I have a th thermostat issue. Do I ever? She mused. He pointed through the window of the van parked in the front, Sam's heating and air cooling painted on the side. I'm Sam. Where's your thermostat? Desi laid led Sam to the office. When he spotted Zeke, he play, laid the plate on the desk. Then he gave the collie a friendly scratch behind the ears. You like dogs, Sam? Sam nodded. His uh, blue eyes were soft. Love them. I have a lab. She's my roommate. His lab is a roommate? So he's single. I don't know what I'd do without Zeke. He's been my comfort since my husband died, she said it very clearly. But Sam had turned his attention to the thermostat. Here's your problem. I have a new unit in the truck. I'll make you a good deal. That's so kind, she faltered. Did he miss the part that I'm widowed and alone? His back to her, Sam removed the thermostat and went to his van to retrieve a new one. After testing it successfully, a proud, satisfied smile crossed his lips. Now you won't freeze, he said. Desi smiled. What's my bargain price? Slowly stroking his jaw, Sam scrutinized the plate. How about I trade the thermostat for Napoleon and Desiree? Fair enough, she agreed, gazing at the plate as she tucked it into a box. She recalled that Napoleon had walked out of Desiree's life just like that. One more thing, Desi, Sam said. How about dinner tomorrow? He winked at the collie, if Zeke agrees. So he had been listening. The goosebumps popping up now weren't due to a runaway AC. I would love that, Sam. After the exchange phone numbers, Desi walked Sam to the door with a promised glint. He said, see you tomorrow. He barely driven away when Desi began doing a jig. Summer was ending on a high note, after all. The author, Wendell Potter. And your fun and most enjoyable part from what you all tell me that you enjoy the most. Horoscope time. Now this is by Marissa Brown. And it's for the week of Sunday, August 29th to Saturday, September 4th. So here we go. If you are a Virgo. That is August 23rd through September 22nd. Figuring out your finances is easier than ever on the 30th. What you learn paves the path ahead. And then on the 2nd, you'll be able fired up to work on a team project with co-workers. Together, you can make dreams come true. Now, your lucky days are August 29th, September 2nd, and September 3rd. Your lucky numbers, 2, 6, and 11. If you're a Libra, September 23rd through October 22nd, Expect to feel more confident around self-expression from the 29th on. Talking about your goals can be empowering. Then on the 1st, work with the loved one to create a project. The experience feels productive and fun. Your lucky days will be August 30th, 31st, September 4th. Your lucky numbers will be 1, 5, and 7. If you're a Scorpio, that's October 23rd through November 21st. You're going to be feeling more re reserved than usual come the 31st. Focus on your self-care practices like mediation to restore yourself. Then you'll be inspired to have a heart-to-heart -heart with a loved one on the 3rd. Be true to yourself for healing. Now your lucky days will be September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Your lucky numbers will be 3, 4, and 12. 
If you're a Sagittarius, that's November 22nd through December 21st. Spend time with friends from the 30th on. Socializing helps you feel more connected. And then on the second, it could be tough to move the ball forward to a chore. Taking a step back could help you more productive downrange. Your lucky days will be August 30th, September 3rd, and 4th. Your lucky numbers will be 4, 9, and 11. If you're a Capricorn, December 22nd through January 19th. You'll be motivated to take on a project that puts you in the spotlight on the 31st. You People you respect will applaud for you. Come the 4th, prepare to research a new way to boost cash flow. What you learn sets you up for a win. Your lucky days are August 29th, 2nd, and 3rd. Your lucky numbers, 2, 10, and 11. If you're an Aquarius, that's January 20th through February 18th. From the 1st on, you may want to find new ways to hone your skill set. Getting out of your comfort zone now feels particularly fulfilling, and on the second, enjoy a heartfelt conversation with a loved one. This moment will bring you bliss. Your lucky days is August 30th, 31st, and September 4th. Your lucky numbers are 6, 8, and 9. If you're a Pisces, that's February 19th through March 20th. Deep conversations with a loved one can happen more often from the 29th on. Getting to the root of what bolsters your bond. On the 4th, you're going to feel ex extra creative, pouring your energy into a fun project that proves rewarding. Your lucky days are September 1, 2, and 3. Your lucky numbers are 5, 7, and 8. If you're an Aries, that's March 21st through April 19th, work closely with a dear friend on a goal uh, on the 31st. Talking through your plan expedites success on the 2nd. Put your heads together with co-workers to solve an issue. As a team, you will decide on a winning strategy. Your lucky days will be August 30th, 31st, and September 4th. Your lucky numbers, 4, 7, and 11. If you're a Taurus, April 20th through May 20th, focus on cultivating new habits after the 30th. Sticking with them can boost your vitality. Then, a positive outlook can have you radiating from the inside out on the 3rd. You'll enjoy memorable times with loved ones, and your lucky days are September 1, 2, and 3. Your lucky numbers are 3, 5, and 6. If you're a Gemini, that's May 21st through June 20th, you'll be even more in tune with your artistic impulses than usual from the first on. Talking through a creative project proves motivating. Come the 4th, an eye-opening experience allows you to cultivate new skills. Go for it. Your lucky days, August 30th, 31st, and September 4th. Your lucky numbers, 5, 9, and 14. If you're a Cancer, June 20th, 1st through July 22nd. Expect lots of lively, productive talks with co-workers on the 2nd. Together, you'll come up with an exciting team approach. And on the 3rd, you'll find get-togethers with loved ones that are restorative for your bonds and your heart. Your lucky days, September 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Your lucky numbers, 1, 3, and 8. If you're a sexy Leo, like your bombshell... Well, that's July 23rd through August 22nd. My birthday was August 3rd. Your curiosity is amplified from the 30th on. Spending time with friends and seeking out new experiences brings you joy. And on the 2nd, try a new approach to boosting cash flow. Trust your intuition to lead the way. Your lucky days will be August 30th, September 2nd, and 3rd. Your lucky numbers will be 2, 3, and 7. Moving forward. Okay. Uh, you are, this is, you deserve more good, you deserve good things. I'll say it right in a minute. You are so much more powerful than you realize. You have the power to dream, decide, and do. The power to make choices that shape the future and power to step forward with faith and hope. The power to do good for others and you have the power to follow your heart to what lies ahead. So much happiness. Okay, love and laughter. We've got some great pictures here. Uh, we've got a little boy who's two and his name's Rio. Those boots were made for walking. Submitted by great aunt Karen Thompson, Wisconsin. Prima ballerina. She's so dressed up in her ballerina outfit. Emmeline, who's four. Submitted by grandmother Barbara Harris from L.A. Adorable. Uh, we've got a cartoon here with a lady holding a phone in her hand. It says, you're the psychic hotline. You tell me my credit card number. Uh, there's a lady with a pair of eyeglasses at the optometrist. It says, I need two, one to hang on my neck so I can find the other when I misplace them. Uh, we have a cat in a box. It's a special delivery submitted by Talon Casabar from Laval, Quebec. The quote of the week says, life is a gift and every day offers us a new opportunity to live our lives in joy. Tracy Smith. 
kind of reminds me of Rip from Yellowstone when he tells that to Beth that every day with her. Isn't that how he puts it? Every day is a gift. And, oh, that man's just, oh, God, he's, in fact, I have a shirt on that says, Rip Wheeler, my kind of cowboy that my niece Mackenzie made. And can I just say, not only do I love this shirt, but I love you, Rip. Anyway, kisses for Sissy. Tadris is five and Harolyn is 11 months, submitted by Aunt Logo from Georgia. Sit and pretty Kyra there at 18 months, submitted by Mother Rachel Bukovitz in Wisconsin. And that takes care of August 30th, 2021, Woman's World. Get this magazine. Check it out. You will not regret it. There's so many more stories I didn't get to share with you. And it's jam-packed. You're going to want to check this uh, magazine out. And next up, stay tuned.